Hello, my beautiful Gemini. For those of you who would like a personal reading or to win a free reading, the information is in the box below. Gemini, let's take a look and see what we have here. The energy in the past, recent past between you and your person is one of making magic. It's this beautiful Queen of Wands energy, fiery, let's do this, let's have fun, let's make magic together. She's holding a wand and she's creating a spark of energy over here. You are surrounded by light and love and passion. Lots of fun energy that is the Aries Queen. It's Mars energy. It's like, let's do this now. Make a little love get down tonight, let's have fun, let's talk till dawn. We have the energy right now, Gemini, of you and your person, the Four of Wands. This is honeymoon energy. This is the energy of being willing to talk about getting married. Look at you have three, three marriage cards right in a row. So we have this beautiful Four of Wands energy in the Rider Waite is a bride and groom dancing under the deck, uh, under the garland, excuse me. Um, but this is a very traditional meaning of talking about how you're going to enjoy being together, what that relationship looks like, but two mar three marriage cards lined up right here. So when we say marriage, what we really mean is a soul connection. This is a foundational card of marriage. It's about buying homes together, creating stability. It's about establishing a future with your partner. The Two of Cups is very much just loving each other from the heart space. Very intense love relationship. They could be very different from you. They could be very similar to you, but you are, this is a relationship that you want to nurture. Cancerian energy, this warms your heart. When we look at the energy of what Spirit is saying, Spirit is telling you that this could be a happily ever after relationship. That it's actually suggesting to use your intuition to know how to move this relationship forward. We have children, we have, you know, male, this masculine, feminine energy, however that works, is right there, you know, with a swirl of passion and happiness, you know. And so when we look at how your person, Gemini, sees the future, they want to come in, they want to make a romantic offer. We're at this Knight of Cups energy. It is Pisces energy. And so, you know, the horse is still there. No commitment has been made yet. But this person is looking sort of down here, if you notice. Their eyes are, are cascading over this area of the reading. When we look at how they view you, they view you, Gemini, as being a planner. They're not really seeing a lot of emotion from you. They're seeing this sort of like, this sort of attitude of you just taking everything a day at a time. Let's, you know, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's plan, let's do some things, but they view you as being less in love with them than they are with you. Gemini, here's your person, the Two of Cups. This is their heart space in particular. Your person would love nothing more than to spend time with you, to walk hand in hand. We have this person's feeling very emotional. A lot of Pisces and in this Cancerian energy is here twice. So when we look at that, it's very intense love energy from the heart space, nurturing a desire to give unconditionally with this Pisces energy to give of self. Your person intuitively knows that you care about them. They know that they're not really reading the situation incorrectly. They see that you're willing and able to be more fiery about this and to show affection through passion. When we look at this beautiful High Priestess card, your person is um, most likely trying to communicate with you intuitively, telepathically. I feel as though there's almost like a radio transmission going on between the two of you. I don't think that you're talking about it. I feel as though your person wants to nurture this. This the high priestess is the keeper or the the lady who takes care of the empress. She's the lady 
who's helping the empress, the lady in, not the lady in waiting, because the empress is the lady in waiting, but it's very much about nurturing the relationship. So your person is willing to do that. They're willing to take the lead on nurturing this relationship. The energy that is here between the two of you has you both feeling uncertain. Pisces energy is very, very psychic energy. And here you're underwater. When we see you underwater, the two of you are underwater together because this is mutual energy. So both of you feel as though there is a light side and a dark side to the relationship. This energy that Spirit is saying is trust your intuition, trust your psychic ability to find happiness. That this relationship really, it's, it's this is the advice from Spirit, is to delve into that which makes you very happy, even if it makes you nervous, even if it makes you fearful. What we're seeing here is the advice from Spirit, that it is safe to love your person. Now, Gemini, here we have you in the reading. You are rushing forward, hopping on this motorcycle, you know, into the future. You're headed off in this direction, and um, we really don't know what that means at this point. So you are very desirous of getting an answer, giving an answer, but definitely of communicating something in a very bold and courageous way. So let's see what the clarifiers for this reading are for beautiful Gemini. Gem, gem, gem. Gemini. Okay, so let's see what we have here. What is the Queen of Wands energy about? Ah, breaking out of your shell. So nine of, excuse me, eight of swords energy is Gemini energy again, and this fell out. So we have the, um, the Queen, we have the star card reversed. So the star card reversed looks as though Gemini, this is Aquarius energy. But what we see is that with the Gemini energy is that you're not sure something has happened in this relationship that is making you uncomfortable. You need to sort it out because we go from the Eight of Swords here. So the Eight of Swords is self-imposed restriction. So both of you are withholding this sort of conversation, if you will. Both of you want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Intuitively, whatever's happened in the relationship, whatever has made you sort of be uncomfortable in this relationship, needs to be cleared up. There needs to be healing, and there ha it hasn't happened yet. So when we get the star card, it shows and speaks of a very enlightenment, like enlightenment, enlightened healing. And intuitively, both of you know that this is something that needs to be nurtured. Your relationship needs a lot of love and nurturing at this point. So why do we have the four of wands here? Why are the two of you feeling as though you could get married? Look at this. Oh, Libra, the justice card. Really, this could be a marriage license. <laughs> All right, we need to know more. You're both feeling wary. You don't want to really count on this. But both of you are feeling this very strong pull. And look at this. We have this sort of master. This is a the, the Aries energy of the emperor with the four of wands. The Four of Wands is Aries energy. So we have double Aries energy. We also have Sagittarius energy. Both of you want the freedom to be able to embrace this relationship. Both of you want to trust it. Right now, you're headed down that path of trusting it, even though in the past something did happen between the two of you that disrupted the trust or the feeling of security, even if it wasn't trust you know, security, and look at what fell off into my arms. Okay, literally. Now we have the Four of Wands again with the Devil card. So, Gemini, what I'm seeing here is that your person wants to marry you, but they have been a bit of a dark force in this relationship. So, we get the Devil energy. They want to control the situation, 
they want to find stability in the relationship. This is the path that they see as required. They feel as though they have to be in control. Capricorn energy, I'm not especially fond of the devil, though he's very sexy. It does show this devil energy as, you know, a puppet on a string as a result. So this person's trying to manipulate romance. They're trying to be in control of the relationship so that they can get what they want. Now, this is a very interesting reading because it appears that your person is really set on marrying you. And you're over here feeling sort of skeptical. I'm really seeing that you're not um, feeling safe, quite literally. When we look at your energy, you're like, you know, let's take this a day at a time. Let's slow this down. I'm not so sure how I feel about this. So let's see why we have the Page of Pentacles here for you. You feel your person's a lightweight. You feel as though they can't come through for you because you they see themselves as a Knight of Cups coming in, very romantic, you know, very much there trying to offer you something. You don't buy into it. You're not buying their words. The, and when we look at the Page of Cups, pages about, are about communication. It looks like your person comes in to apologize. They want to make plans with you and you're all about, yeah, you know, we could we could hang out together. We could have passion, you know, but you think that this person does not have their feet on the ground and you would be right. The This is when pigs fly and pigs don't fly. So your feeling is that when pigs fly, which they don't, can this person really at this point in time give you what you need and desire in a relationship you feel as though you feel as though they want to you know that they want to that part of the relationship is very true but you're just not trusting any promises or desires that they're sharing do you share the desire to have a successful relationship with them up to and including marriage yes you do you just don't know that they have or that the two of you are going to be able to troubleshoot or solve or take the right actions because you're defensive. You're both defensive. Okay. So why do we have the two of cups? This is the heart space of your person. They are in love with you. That two of cups is a deep love. It's a soulmate of the minor arcana. Okay. It is clarified by the Tower card. So this is an epiphany. This person didn't think that they were going to fall in love with you. This person was at one time involved in devil energy where they were making you compete for attention. They were, you know, still open-ended. They weren't completely committed. This is, you know, when we when we get to the Ten of Pentacles, there's commitment. But the Eight of Pentacles is, though they liked the relationship, though they were in the relationship, quote unquote, working on it, what was going on behind the scenes is they were manipulating you into feeling more secure than they were actually more security than they were actually giving you. As if you wouldn't notice, Gemini, you notice everything. This person was keeping their options open. They were putting you into a competitive situation. And basically, you hung them out to dry and you moved away. You just said, you know what? Not doing that. You can do that. But now, you know, here you are in this Pisces energy with the hanged man, hanged woman. Uh, and you moved away from them, Gemini, because of this Aquarius energy. You feel enlightened. You know, you know the score. You absolutely know the score. And, um, you know, the Six of Swords says, yeah, I don't think so. I'm not, I'm not really buying that. You know, you know the history of this person, Gemini. And this person, for whatever reason... I'll put other people in front of you and you're not buying into this idea that if you were to marry them, that it would be happily ever after. Now, Spirit is saying that, that it could happen. Now, what we have here is that you are the Empress, that your person sees you as the Empress. They see you as a person who's not sold on them, but you are Empress to, and you may be the Emperor, you know, you carry 50% of this energy. They see you as a prize. 
they see you as a person with whom if they could have you and if they could have influence over you that they could have a very very good life with you okay so what else is the empress here for your reading this is divine love here it really is so we are seeing soulmate divine we are seeing spirit sort of pulling for this relationship so why do we have empress here now in this situation your person yeah they want this is Taurus. They want commitment with you. The Taurus King is uh, the precursor to the Emperor. This person definitely has decided that they want to be stable. They want a full commitment. But why is the Tower card here? Because the Tower card is an epiphany. First of all, they realize they want this with you. But the Tower card means that there's not a stable foundation. So when they're, un they're beginning to understand that there is not a stable foundation, that you're not going to go along to get along. The Ace of Cups, yep, okay. So they know that they did not give you a strong foundation in love. Why is the High Priestess here? What is the solution? Because the High Priestess is a protector of relationships. That is nurturing energy. Your, per your person really feels as though you are a cut above, that you are the high priestess. They feel as though they have to be at your equal level. They feel as though, oh, they want a new passionate beginning with you. They intuitively know how to get that. They feel very confident of it. Yep, and what's hidden here is in the past, your person put you in a third party situation. You know about it. You, the two of you are not talking about this. But the Two of Swords is you are not going to deal with this. Three of Swords, you're not going to deal with this. Both of you are in this energy of feeling lost to one another. And this energy is clarifying the reason why you don't have a, a strong sense of trust. And it's, you know, that's powerful and it's energetic and this person was playing you, you know, two ends against the middle. And uh, let's see why we have the Ten of Cups here for a beautiful Gemini's. The Two of Cups, oh my gosh. So this is the advice from Spirit, okay? Advice from Spirit is follow your heart. Follow your heart, okay? Trust your heart. It's not necessarily saying to get married, but it's saying consider it. Okay, but let's see what the Knight of Swords is. The Knight of Swords is your outcome, and that's you, Gemini, seeking answers. Tell us something about this outcome card for our Gemini friends, please. There we go, Eight of Cups. You know, this may be a little bit too late. Your person may be, you, they may have just simply come to you too late. The Eight of Cups says that Unless you get the answers you want, you are actually going to step away from the relationship. Why is the Eight of Cups how you're going to feel about? They're not really able to give you answers that you want. You don't like what they come in and say to you. Tell us more, please. You feel as though they're not giving you any answers that are solid. You don't feel as though they're telling you the truth. You feel as though they're in this devil energy. And you feel as though they're very much this sort of hopeless romantic. You're not interested in that. They're promising you the world. I'm mean, not the world, but <laughs> because there's a world card. But they are promising you sort of what they perceive is what you want to hear. And that is not actually what you want to hear. What you want to hear is how they can bring themselves to the relationship in a way that you can count on. Right now, that is not the case. And they don't seem to be able to prove it to you, though they're going to keep trying. Because the outcome card is as you walk away, this person's going to chase you. They're getting on their horse and they're coming after you. They're hopping on their motorcycle and they're coming after you. You know, that's what's happening right now. So let's see what else we have. Six of Cups. So there is a reunion. You throw caution to the wind. 
you are going to follow the advice of spirit. You feel really powerful. You feel really grounded. You feel as though, you know, at the end of the day, during this time that you had alone, you have Virgo energy here. You feel as though you can problem solve. Virgo energy, you feel grounded enough you know, we have you feeling this sort of Taurus energy. You have very a lot. You might have some Earth sign in your chart or this ability to look at things very strategically. But you are not going to buy into anything that really isn't true. You're not going to really accept anything foolish that this person might say to you. You will make it clear to them, though. That's what I'm getting. The thing that is really sort of a beautiful outcome here is that you are willing to walk away and your person understands that. And, you know, you basically put them sort of in this place of letting them know how can you possibly offer marriage when this was a situation. But for some of you, your person may have left this relationship and they're running in to capture you. But I would be careful because this energy is still looming over the relationship. It is beautiful. Spirit is advising you to throw caution to the winds. Spirit is advising you to follow your heart. Spirit is saying that the two of you love each other so deeply and so much that it is worth the risk. Let's see what the Oracle um, of the Ancients and the Angels say. Your ancestors and your angels. Let's see, what is the energy here for our beautiful Gemini friends? What does spirit have to say? What is the advice of spirit? Advice of spirit in this situation. Take note of intuitive messages. Well, we have the, here we have the high priestess. You know, we have the high priestess here, which is mutual energy. So what do we have here? Surround yourself with protective energy. Wow. That is so fitting, isn't it? Okay. And the last card here is exchange energy. Oh, to create abundance. Look at this. This is the energy to create abundance. Abundance and love. The Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. An abundance of love and abundance of stability and an abundance of commitment. Sending you love from Chicago. It's been a joy. Then come back and tell me where you're from. Please be sure to enter the contest. You can subscribe, give a thumbs up to the video, and comment. That's one way to enter, and email is another. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.